Welcome back to my channel. My name is Johan and today we're gonna do an experiment about the presence and absence of oxygen. In investigating the changes that happen in materials under the condition that there is presence or absence of oxygen, you will need the following materials. One piece of apple or eggplant or potato. Here's my potato. <laughs> Two clear glass or bottle. Give it to me. <laughs> Next. Chopping board. Any vitamin C tablet. Here's my vitamin C. 500 ml or two glasses of water. Here's my water. Knife. Be careful with the knife. Ooh, put it down. Next. Conduct an experiment in the kitchen or in an available place that is safe to keep the experimental setup. Being safe and manageable. Follow the steps below. Where are we now? Dining room. Yes, we're at the dining room. So, next is... Prepare the materials. What, number one, label each glass with a marker or write in a paper. Glass A with water, glass B with vitamin C placed under each glass. This will help you monitor which glass will undergo changes in color in the presence or absence of oxygen. Water, what's water? H2O. Okay. H2O. H2O. Next. Oh, no, no, no. Use the orange marker. Yes. Yes. Last. Uh, B with. B with. Water. H2O. H2O. Plus. Vitamin C. Okay. Now. Put the labels here. Let's put it here, baby. Oh. Here? Yes. Okay, and let's see. And then. Here? Yes. Here. 2. Cut an apple, eggplant, or potato into two slices using a knife in a chopping board. Seek help from elder brother or sister to set up this experiment. This will create bonding between you and your elder member of the family. Okay, so mommy will help you. Here? Careful. Cut it in half. Press, press. <clears throat> Finally. <laughs> and then, what's next? Pour three four full of water in each pre-labeled glass. Okay, so... Three four. There's three four there. Okay, you pour some water. Mm, where's the three four there? Mm -hmm. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Stop. Stop. And then... That's only two-thirds. Wait, Mom. And then here. Put one slice of apple or eggplant or a potato in each glass or bottle. Put each there. 
is plus eight. vitamin C tablet. Put it in the second glass. You get one tablet. Put it there. There. Then. Press it? Here. Press. You can't do it. Oh no. Happened in the material after 48 hours. Two days. Two days, yes. So, what day is today? Wednesday? Today is Wednesday at 1 p.m. Yes. So, when are we gonna check it? Friday, 1 p.m. Friday, 1 p.m. Yes, that's right. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, two days, 48 hours. Let's see what will happen on Friday. A, with water. B, with water plus vitamin C. See you on Friday. It's been 24 hours. Let's, let's check our potato. Here's with water, with water plus vitamin C. And it smells bad. Hello, I'm back. It's been 48 hours. Let's check our potato and see the result of our experiment. First, let's check glass A, the potato with water. When the potato is cut and is exposed to oxygen, free radicals are released which turn our potato brownish through the process of oxidation. It also smells bad. Now let's check last B, the potato with water and vitamin C or ascorbic acid. potato put in water with vitamin C looks more fresh than the potato without the vitamin C. It's because vitamin C contains antioxidants which uh, prevent the rate of oxidation or uh, oxidant damage to the potato flesh. I can therefore conclude that vitamin C or ascorbic acid is an effective antioxidant that prevents further oxidation and produce a healthy looking potato. This could be used to keep our food fresh. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy our experiment. Bye!